is something that I call the ultimate sub two. Now, it'll, how many of you folks have heard of buying property subject to existing financing? Most of you in this room, a lot of you have, I know, because uh, you know I, I know a lot of you. But uh, buying subject to existing financing, for those of you who don't know what it is, is taking over loans that people already have in place. That's not a formal assumption like a lot of people think. It's just walking in, taking over the payments, and start to make those payments on a loan someone already else has. Sounds pretty appealing, doesn't it? Not having to qualify with banks, anything like that. But we're going to talk about the basics and beyond today. So we're going to talk about the basics, and we're also going to talk about some of the more in-depth stuff, a lot of the questions that a lot of people getting started have about it. So we're going to try to cover a lot of material today, or as much as we can. Okay? A few of the things that we're going to cover today is what is subject to, and like I just told you, it's taking